Hambukola, a class support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to analyze your Amazon Simple Storage Service Access Logs using Amazon Athena. Let's get started. As a brief overview, Amazon Athena is a query service that can be used to analyze data in Amazon S3 using standard SQL. We're going to use Athena to query S3 access logs so that we can identify information in S3 requests. To do this, you must enable S3 access logging on the buckets whose requests you want to analyze. Let's go ahead and enable access logging for your bucket. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the S3 console. Then, choose the bucket from the list. Choose the Properties tab. Scroll down to the Server Access Login section. And then choose Edit. Choose Enable, then enter or browse to the target S3 location to store your logs. Choose Save Changes to complete the steps. After requests are made to the bucket and logs delivered into the target bucket, we can query the logs using Amazon Athena. To do this, let's go to the Athena console and create a database and table schema. For best performance, it's a best practice to create this in the same region as your S3 bucket. Search and select Athena in the search bar. Go to the editor and then enter and run the Create Database query in the query window to create your database. For this demonstration, I'll use S3 underscore access logs underscore DB as the name of my database. After the database is created, ensure it's selected from the database drop-down list. Next, let's create a table schema in the database we just created. For this demonstration, I have copied the statement, which is similar to the one in the Knowledge Center article, which I'll paste in a new editor window. Here, you can see the table name and different access log properties and their data type values. These are the properties that you can query with Athena. At the bottom is the target location of the access logs I configured earlier on the bucket. Choose Run. Now you can see the table is created under the Tables section. You can show the first 10 recent requests in the access logs by selecting the three dots and choosing Preview Table. The preview will show all S3 request properties as columns. You can see from the results below that we have the bucket owner, bucket name, request time, IP address, request that IM role or user, and so on. If you're searching for a particular piece of information, for example, you want to identify the user who deleted the file in the bucket and when they did it, you can run a more specific query by entering. Essentially, the query searches the table for any request that contains the images slash picture.png key name and where the operation is delete. Below is the result showing all related delete operations. Here's another example query that will show all operations performed by a specific IM user. For this example, I have copied the select statement from the Knowledge Center article. This query will search the table for all requests where the requester is the user 01 IM user. Below is the result showing all requests made by the IM user. We can see the bucket name, timestamp, source IP address, requester, operations, and so on. For a more advanced example, let's identify all operations that were performed on an object in a specific time period. My query will look like the select statement from the Knowledge Center article. Now we can see results of the query showing all operations that were performed on an object for the month of August. 
These are just some examples that you can use to search and analyze your S3 access logs. Refer to the Knowledge Center article for more query examples or compose your own using simple SQL statements. And now you know how to analyze your S3 access logs for requests using Athena. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>